Kia ora, I'm just going to show you how to use uh, 123D Design, which is this little icon here, and this is an Autodesk Pro uh, product that's been designed to help you make 3D models uh, mm -hmm. that you can then print off. Don't worry about that, on our system that always comes up. Um, and when it opens, it's going to go in through this process here. It's out now trying to link to the internet to show you some new features. And this is actually really handy. If I go uh, to the next one, it shows you through a bunch of uh, really useful tips. So if you download the software onto your machine at home, be sure to check some of the stuff out, particularly the shortcut keys. Okay, I can start a new project here, or I can simply shut this window down. So I'll shut that window down for now, and we'll take a look at this interface. This whole thing is the interface. Uh, instead of just menus up the top, it's got icons, which is quite good. So there's your primitives icon, sketch icon, construct icon, etc. Um, over here we have widgets, pan, orbit and zoom which I'll show you very shortly and there's a hidden menu over here as you drop down which is new, open, save, exit etc in there. So it's all hidden to give you more what they call real estate. Uh, the real estate is the space that you actually work on. Now it did say about shortcut keys, I use shortcut keys quite a lot and in here if you go to the little uh, query mark icon there you can go to the shortcut keys and it shows you all of these this is very very handy if you start getting into this program because it tells you all the different shortcuts that you will use close that down right the next thing that we're going to look at here is uh, basically how to manage the workspace so I said before about pan orbit and zoom so if you want to you can use these widgets so panning is just pulling the whole workspace across like I say so I can click and drag that across uh, zooming is zooming so I can push up with the mouse or down with the mouse when I'm on that tool and orbiting is going around something so you're sort of going orbiting around whatever you end up putting on that workspace so it's all it's all quite useful but to be perfectly honest with you I tend not to use these I just use my mouse so to zoom on the mouse I just zoom in by scrolling in and out with the scroll wheel to orbit I just click and hold down the right mouse button so that's really really easy once you know how and to pan you press and hold down the middle mouse wheel and pan across so all of these things are really really handy I'm just going to pop this on the grid there so if I wanted to get around something I would just hold down my right mouse right mouse if I need to pan middle mouse and hold orbiting right mouse and if I wanted to zoom in zoom in zoom out okay definitely worth practicing you will use those often